What's up guys, it's Cadence. This is one of the most requested videos on the channel and I'm finally doing one. This is an entire walkthrough of my train store, Cadence's Rail Yard in Fairview, Tennessee. We're outside the antique store right now that I'm in. Let's go take a look. My store is located inside of Old Town Antiques in Fairview, Tennessee. Old Town Antiques is about 30 minutes west of Nashville and two and a half hours east of Memphis. The first thing you see when you walk in is my 3x8 operating O-scale layout. The purpose of this layout is not to be a realistic representation of anywhere exactly, but more to display as many of my products as possible, hence the extremely long train with a lot of cars that are for sale. Starting out on the left side of my booth, we have a lot of items on top of the first showcase. Some of these are miscellaneous, and some of them are things that are just too big to put inside the showcases themselves. This pegboard has some track nails, track pins, woodland scenics, and things of that nature. I carry really anything relating to cars and trains, and anything with wheels, as well as Legos and some vintage toys. The top of this showcase is really a display of that. As you can see, I have many Lego items, as well as other vintage railroad memorabilia, and even a few video games. Moving to the right side, we get more into the model train stuff, with a few HO scale buildings and my current selection of Walther's Cornerstone kits. Moving down into the first showcase, we have all of my used, out-of-box HO scale locomotives. These are mostly between $15 and $25 a piece, depending on which one they are. Here you can see those LNN and CP engines from my most recent train store update video. In the back, I have some railroad pins, pencils, mugs, and more things of that nature. There's even a CSX earbud case, which is, I thought was pretty cool. Moving down, we have more HO scale locomotives and a few freight cars. This shelf is more of the smaller engine variety, 44 tonners, center cabs, trolleys, and things of that nature. Here's one of my favorite engines I have in stock right now, an Atherin ready to roll Boston and Maine Spirit of 76. I really like this engine a lot. In the back, I have some miscellaneous freight cars that I didn't have room for and other parts of the store. Going down a shelf, we have a lot of miscellaneous items. These are mostly HO scale pieces with a few American Flyer S gauge pieces towards the top of the shelf. Most of these cars are very affordable, ranging between three and six dollars a piece. Moving down, we have all of my O gauge locomotives. Right now, as of the time of recording this video, I had a Lionel DT&I switcher, a Lionel Amtrak AA set, and two Lionel Santa Fe 442s. In the back, there's some more miscellaneous rolling stock, as well as my current transformer selection. A lot of you have asked for me to stock more N-gauge items, and I am working on that as well. Moving to our right, we have more freight cars of O and HO scales. Let's take a look and see what we have in this showcase. Starting the top shelf, we have a lot of loose HO scale pieces. These are mostly Tyco, Bachman, Lifelike, with a few Atherin pieces thrown in as well. Like I said earlier, I try and keep all my freight car prices very low, with the less expensive cars like Tycos and Lifelikes being four to five dollars and Atherin and Atlas cars being upwards of five to nine. On this shelf, I have a lot more loose rolling stock, mostly box cars, as well as some cattle cars. Moving down, we have more loose HO scale cars. Here are where some of my nicer cars are. You can see on the top, I have some Atlas and Atherin pieces.
Moving down are all of my loose O-gauge freight cars. This is my favorite section because I'm an O-scale modeler myself. I always have a really good time finding what pieces I want to put in the store. I have a wide range of stuff. I have everything from O-27 to some scale pieces like that Ringling Bros flat car you see there. Flipping open the other side, we see more O-gauge cars. Mostly Lionel, with a few MTH pieces thrown in as well. Moving up a shelf, we have a lot of miscellaneous things. This shelf holds all of my Thomas and Friends items, as well as some miscellaneous other toys. Thomas and Friends has been a great seller at my store so far, and I'm working harder on giving the, the Thomas items more of a designated spot. Right now I mostly have take and play and wooden railway items, but I'd love to broaden my Thomas selection soon. Moving up, we have more miscellaneous vintage toy items and train memorabilia. Everything from wooden railway to Tootsie Toys. And to the right are all of my train books and movies. I have everything from vintage books about trains to model railroading handbooks to even some decals thrown in there as well. Moving up, here are all of my boxed HO scale items, with a few O-gauge ones as well. These are more of my nicer cars, my Athern and AHM and Roundhouse pieces, with some Tyco and other less expensive cars thrown in as well. Here's my boxed O-gauge items, mostly Lionel with an, an odd K-line car thrown in there. Here's a neat engine I, I got a few months ago. I have an AA set of it, it's a custom painted Athern pair. Still waiting to find someone that wants that paint scheme. Moving over to my last showcase, these are all of my Hot Wheels and die-cast cars. I try to keep this showcase as full as possible because Hot Wheels have been a great seller for me and it's really cool seeing the die-cast fan base cross over with the Model Railroad fan base a lot. Most of my Hot Wheels cars are $2 a piece. Some are a little bit more if they're from the 80s. At the top shelf, we have some more vintage baseball cards, as well as other various die-cast pieces. These are a lot of Ertl pieces, with a few more Matchbox and Hot Wheels thrown in as well. Looking at the top of this showcase, here's just some toy train items. I try and keep things very inexpensive, so that anybody can find something affordable at my shop. Towards the back there, we have a lifelike HO scale set, some Thomas Wooden Railway items, and some more various train memorabilia as well. There's even a vintage Lionel Switchman Tower there as well. Taking a look by the train layout, here's a look at what's running right now. I have a Lionel 080 Pennsylvania locomotive. Under the train table, I have a few different bins. The one in the center of the screen right now is my $1 bin, and every item in that bin is $1, as it would explain. To the right of that is all my Thomas track, that's Wooden Railway and Trackmaster. Those go for 25 cents a piece, or you can get five of them for a dollar. Here's my model train track bin. These are all a dollar a piece. It's O and HO in there with a few S gauge as well. And to the right of that is another of the one dollar bins. Moving over to the other side of the store, we have my last piece of real estate in this antique wall. This top of this showcase just has some more vintage toys and things that didn't fit in my booth. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to come visit the store, all the information will be in the description. See you next time.